Hello friends, welcome. Friends, I saw this article uh, yesterday with the headline is Cost Effective Tariff Free 5G Service Quality to Drive BSNL's 4G Customers. Now friends, you know that the government of India has been focusing on making BSNL successful so as to enable high quality 4G and 5G services for the Indian consumers. Now, if BSNL starts offering uh, affordable 4G and 5G services, then our consumers are going to be quite empowered because of tariff hike. What that has happened is they are forced to pay, uh, you know, higher service charges, uh, which they are not very comfortable in, in paying because if you look at the data analysis that I did a couple of days back, where I can clearly point out that there is a strain in the usage of data by the Indian consumer, especially in the afford affordable segment, that they are not able to absorb tariff hike. And in future, tariff hike, if, if it happens, then the data consumption will further decrease. And therefore, this is a very good news that if BSNL starts offering affordable uh, 4G and 5G tariff and follow the same strategy which Reliance followed at the time when they entered the market and uh, to grab as much customers as possible. And also, BSNL will li like to expand their network from the current uh, number of, of towers by more than 1 lakh towers so they can have a ubiquitous co coverage throughout the country. Now, all these are good, but only, only concern would be the private operators will actually have a loss of market share because if BSNL grabs a large segment of their population, then the private operators will suffer. Especially Vodafone will, will be struggling because Vodafone also has a very low quality subscriber, at, at least at the prepaid, prepaid segment, where the subscri subscriber ARPU is pretty low. Or BSNL subscriber ARPU is also very, very low. Also, I saw another article, which was again done on 20th June 2025, which talks about BSNL launching affordable plans for a SIM-free 5G services threatening Airtel. VI's 5G dominance. So everybody is concerned, the operators are concerned, the consumers are very happy. Now friends, why I'm doing this video today? The reason I'm doing this video today because I suddenly realized that BSNL posted profitability two consecutive quarter and lot of fanfire and lot of claims and you know, uh, chest thumping was done by various stakeholders to take claim that BSNL has now become profitable and therefore it is going to run on its own and the revenues that will get generated by BSNL will continue to feed into their operations and therefore government will not have to continue to keep pumping money in BSNL. So everybody was, everybody was happy and even the, the DOT secretary wrote letters to the state government to start using BSNL services, right? So I wanted to revisit that sheet. So I went into my Excel sheet, which has the uh, first line item as revenue from operation, quarter by quarter. If you look at this <clears throat> revenue from operation, quarter by quarter numbers. Oh, sorry. Let me just, <laughs> I think there is a problem here. Just a minute. Yeah. So revenue from operation, if you see here, the 6,640 crores and then in the, in the past quarter, it was 4,969 crores. And then revenue for other, which has got nothing to do with operation. So if you consider revenue from operation from wildline and wireless services, then what you can do is you can extrapolate using the ARPU numbers, which TRI pub keeps publishing in their website to see that whether BSNL's numbers from subscriber quantum is actually mapping to the revenue from operation numbers or not. Right. So that's what I am going to do. And I will figure out what will be the difference, right? So what I'm planning to do, friends, is that this uh, ARPU of wireless subscriber per month, as far BSNL is concerned, is coming out to be roughly around 83 rupees. This is coming uh, coming from the TRI quarterly report. So if you go to TRI quarterly report, not here. Let me just go to the quarterly report. You will see that this table 2.2 captures and summarizes the data. And you will see that BSNL's Blended ARPU is 82.76, right? What I don't know is the wildline ARPU. What is the wildline ARPU? Now I can assume 400 rupees, 500, let's assume 500 rupees, right? Because I'm assuming that the private operator's wildline ARPU would be 600 or 700 rupees, right? Roughly around that. So if I assume 500 rupees, then you can see that revenue from operations 
uh, sorry, revenue from wireless is going to be the multiplication of 83 with 91 sub million subscribers. And it's going to be for the quarter, so I have to multiply by 3. So if you look at the calculation here, you'll see that. Let me just show you the calculation here. The calculation clearly points out, uh, this is the calculation. So what I've done is I have multiplied D25 by into D20, uh, D17 into 3 divided by 10. So this number comes out to be 22,068 crores. And then the next, similarly, the, the earlier number quarter is 23,044.8 crores, then 22,083 crores, like that. You know, it will be around 22,000 crores number because the subscriber numbers have not changed significantly. Okay. And I am assuming the ARPU to, to remain constant. Now, if I take the wildline ARPU of 500 rupees, which I don't know what the number is, and if I go with the wildline subscriber which TRI reports, then I get a wildline uh, revenues of 11, 11, uh, 1155 uh, crore rupees, uh, yeah, sorry, 1155 crore rupees, 1121 crore rupees, 915 crores, 960 crores, like that, right? So the total number comes out to be this. Now, if I do a ca calculation of mismatch from the revenue from operation, because this is the addition of wireless and wildline revenue, revenue depending upon the ARPU that numbers I have, the mismatch comes out to be 3,217 crores, then 1,404 crores, 1,635 crores, like that. And if I take a calculation of percentage with respect to the revenue from operation, this mismatch, this comes out to be 48.4% on the first quarter where they, they had a 280 uh, crores of profitability, then it comes out to be 260 crores, uh, sorry, 28.3% in the quarter where they had a 262.4 crores profitability. So like that, you can see the numbers. So it kind of fluctuates widely and it kind of remains between 48% and 20, 29%, 30%. You can just leave this for particular quarter number. Looks like that, you know, these numbers may not be as accurate, right? But if you take these, these numbers, you'll find that this is kind of fluctuating between 50% and 30%, right? Now, there could be some revenues emanating from NLD and ILD businesses, some other businesses, but this percentage difference cannot be that much. So the question that I have for everybody is to look at these numbers, revenue from operation numbers. Because the numbers that I can see here from wireless and wireline subscriber numbers, and if I use the ARPU numbers which I have laid out here, and I calculate organically these uh, values, why there is such a difference? Why BSNL numbers are such a difference compared to what the TRA data says? Now, in order to do some sanity check to see that uh, whether the TRA number, ARPU numbers are reported accurately or not, what I am going to do is I am going to use the private operators ARPU and see whether or aggregated ARPU of the overall industry and use the total subscriber, wireless subscriber to see what the number comes out to be. So if, if I multiply, so what is the ARPU number here? Aggregated ARPU number of the total industry, that number is given here as 182.95, right? So 182.95, so if I do the calculation here, 1163.76 into 182.95, multiplied by 3 because it will go be for 3 months and then divided by 10, it comes out to be 63,872 uh, crores. So I can basically say 64,000 crores, uh, 64,000 crores. Now, what is the AGR number here? Because AGR number is given also in the same table. It comes, it is comes out to be around 80,000 crores, right? So 64,000 crores and AGR is for that quarter is, is 80,000 crores, right? So that there is a difference between 80 minus 64. It comes out to be around 16,000 crores, right? Now, if the difference is 16,000 crores, friends, what I am assuming is that 16,000 crore difference is because that wireline part has not been included. Now, there are how much, how many wireline subscribers here? In the same report, if I go here, you will see that the wireline subscriber numbers are here, 37.004. So I can do the same calculation using the wireline subscribers and what I'm going to do 37.04 multiplied by, I'll take a ARPO of 600 rupees and multiply by 3 divided by 10. It comes out to be 6,000 or roughly around 7,000 crores rupees, right? 
तो सिक्सटी फोर थाउजेंड करोड सिक्सटी फोर थाउजेंड करोड प्लस सेवन थाउजेंड कॉन्स टू बी सेवेंटी वन थाउजेंड करोड सो इन द जी आर दे इज ए शॉर्ट फॉल ऑफ अराउंड नाइन थाउजेंड करोड राइट फ्रेंड्स देर इज अ शॉर्ट फॉल ऑफ नाइन थाउजेंड करोड नाइन थाउजेंड करोड कैन बी वेरी इजिली एट्रीबल टू एन एल डी आई एल डी एंड अदर ए जी आर सो लुक्स लाइक दैट द ओवरऑल क्वार्टरली ए जी आर विच टी आर ए हैज अनाउंसड काइंड ऑफ मैप्स विद द आर पू नंबर नाउ देर कुड बी स्लाइड डिफरेंस ऑफ कैलकुलेशन मेथड एक्सेट्रा बट आई एम गोइंग फॉर ए बॉल पार्क बट द पॉइंट विच आई वॉन्टेड टू आस्क ऑल 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 व्यूअर्स इज वाई देर इज सच ए बिग मिसमैच इन द बी एस एन एस रेवेन्यू ऑपरेशन नंबर वेन इट इज कैलकुलेटेड यूजिंग द सब्सक्राइबर नंबर विच हैव बिन रिपोर्टेड एंड द आरपू नंबर ऑल्सो रिपोर्टेड बाई टी आर ए आई एंड एज्यूमिंग दैट द वर्ल्ड लाइन आरपू नंबर आर अफले अराउंड फाइव हंड्रेड रुपीज बिकॉज वी नो द वर्ल्ड लाइन सब्सक्राइबर नंबर वी नो द वर्ल्ड लाइन सब्सक्राइबर नंबर सो आई हैव कैलकुलेटेड द रेवेन्यू एंड आई गेट अ डिफरेंस विच वेरीज बिटवीन फिफ्टी परसेंट टू थर्टी परसेंट वाई शुड देर बी ए सच डिफरेंस इन द बी एस एन एल रेवेन्यू फ्रॉम ऑपरेशन नंबर सो दिस इज द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन दैट आई पुट पुट बिफोर द यूजर्स कैन यू ट्रस्ट दिस नंबर विच बी एस एन एल इज रिपोर्टिंग ऑन ए क्वार्टरली बेसिस बिकॉज आई कॉन्ट डू एनी बैक कैलकुलेशन यू हैव टू टेल मी वेर आई हैव गॉन रॉन्ग बिकॉज देर इज अनदर आइटम हियर रेवेन्यू फ्रॉम अदर विच काइंड ऑफ मे बी you know they are doing some kind of monetization of the building etc but i am assuming the revenue from operations will include on a bulk revenue coming from world line and wireless operation plus nld and ild operations which cannot be such a big uh, you know percentage of the overall revenue per operation and we cannot fluctuate between 50 to 30% of the revenue from operations right which looks to me quite large so if this numbers cannot be reconciled which bsnl is quoting and bsnl is going to pro- give more affordable 4g and 5g tariff then are we saying that bsnl's profitability which happened in the last two quarter will going to plummet and bsnl ha- will continue to show losses first these numbers do not match which i showed you in the calculation second is that the bsnl's profitability is going to hit get hit so will the is the government preparing itself to incur more losses by giving more affordable data is that what is going to happen in near future this is the question friends which i want to ask because all these headlines that you see right in front of you they look very good because making those statements is not a problem but is bsnl ready to make more losses and the government of india keep pumping more money to in bsnl and whether the bsnl's numbers revenue from operation why they don't align with the numbers which i have calculated right in front of you see the numbers again this is the subscriber numbers here right 91.1 million here for wireless 7.7 million again this number i doubt because there is a, there was a huge jump from the last last month i i i showed you in one of my video but let's go with this numbers 7.7 million wireline 8.1 million here so if i assume a 500 rupees arpu on an average then you an 83 rupees arpu of for wireless and an average this number comes out to be here and this number comes out to be here if you add then these are the numbers here right here and the and the delta is this and the percentage delta varies between 50% to 30% so friends let's you just answer this question why there is such a big difference is the tra arpu number wrong is this number of arpu which tra has quoted in their quarterly report for bsnl mt nl is completely completely bogus where is that number let me just show you the number is this number of bsnl mtnl this number blended arpu for wireless is it bogus because wireline i have assumed and i showed you that it kind of for the private operators including bsnl the agr number right if you go to this particular session of my this number round about matches right because i have this number 1163.76 and i have this number which is uh, 182.95 multiply that by 3 divided by 10 you get a number of 64 and then you can add another 7000 crores so which comes out to be around 64 plus 7000 comes out 7 71000 and you are left with roughly around 9000 crores which you can attribute towards nld ild and other revenues so the agr numbers matches right 
but why the bsnl numbers do not match because this i did not do earlier friends but when i when i saw those two article i thought of going a little bit of deep dive to understand that whether bsnl is ready to make more losses and how much losses that bsnl will make or for how 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 long you know how many quarters so this is what i want uh, the seat uh, you know you can say uh, a question that i want the viewers to ponder and provide answer in the comment section what mistakes i have done in this analysis because these are all numbers which have been reported in their uh, quarterly statement which i picked up from there and these number you know is reported by by trai and the arpu numbers are also reported by trai so where what mistakes i have committed you tell me friends and i will be very happy to correct those mistakes and thanks for listening till the end and i'll come back with a new video on a new topic next time thank you very much friends